Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. In this video, I will use magazine images only to embellish an entire journal. No fancy stuff, no washi tapes, die cuts, stamps, stencil stickers, no fabrics, charms, beads, ephemera, none of that stuff. Magazine images only. The purpose of this video is to show you how you can make many journal elements with images from all sorts of magazines including cooking, travel, craft, you name it, and still make your journal that looks cohesive, elegant, and stunningly beautiful. By the end of this video, I promise you will be brimming with ideas and inspiration. All right, let's begin. But before we begin, I want you to see all of the junk journal elements that will be covered in this video, including envelopes, journaling spots, tags, tabs, stuck spots, fold out pages, belly bands, paper ruffle, hidden paper clips, pockets, bookmarks, writing board, and more. Yes, all with magazine images. The first thing you want to do is get your magazines out and then start looking through them. So there's a few different things that you want to be looking at. You want to be looking at full images and then you want to be looking at things like this, things like this here, backgrounds and, and little snippets of an image that you can use. Even this here, that can be cut out and that can be a little tag in a journal. Natasha from the future here, just for a quick little instant demo of what I did with that image. I cut it out, sewn lines on it, you can draw lines. This can be like a first page tag that says this journal belongs to kind of thing. I then backed it onto some tea dyed paper and I popped this tag topper up the top and there we have it, pretty cute. What I do is I live through a magazine and I just, mark, I'm gonna do this all split it up, but I just mark the pages where I think there's something there that I want to use but I just want to demonstrate what kind of things I'm looking for. So you can use full images, you can use parts of an image, for example you can just use this section here, uh, it can be a tuck spot or a bookmark or something like that. Uh, things like this for example here, this is a beautiful space here. Just as an example, let's say you have a page in your journal that has writing on it and you want to create a journaling spot. Here is just an idea. I can't even tell that it was actually somebody's face. I made that into a little tuck spot, a little pocket on a book page. And here we go. Don't even bother try, trying to read this because it's a whole lot of gibberish. But, uh, you know, just to demonstrate kind of how we use an image here. It's a girl's face and created a journaling spot. I mean, uh, we're gonna do a lot more fun stuff than just that. It was just, it came to me. So I just wanted to show you basically what you're looking for. You're looking for parts of an image, you know, this can be a little heart, whatever. You can make tags, belly bands, pockets, envelopes. We'll do all of that stuff in this video and more. This sort of stuff, empty space, parts of color. And then of course you want to find full images that you can use like this, you know, that i love that and the sticker goes on and on and on and on okay so this is a cooking magazine let me just say that in home uh, improvement magazines like this one you'll find a whole lot more beautiful images love this i mean that doesn't usually come in a magazine but look at this floors and uh, pictures of carpets and stuff like that like this and like this beautiful they will often have paintings and artworks on the wall and I cut them, all of them out as well. And, you know, flowers like this, that's not really coming up on the, you know, even like this. These are the paintings I was talking about. These little things, cut them all out. All right, so those magazines are really good. Uh, that's Frankie magazine. I don't even know if that's around still. This, this one was absolutely beautiful. This is like a travel thing. You can see Croatia and the beautiful, beautiful Croatia. The images are absolutely stunning and I pulled out most of them to be honest. Another thing you want to look for is letters and words and phrases. So we're looking at images, we're looking at parts of images, we're looking at empty spaces and we're looking at words. Look at this sort of stuff. This is a Christmas themed craft magazine and you know it's all Christmas and stuff but I'm looking at things like for example, see this whole section here, that can be a beautiful tag and it doesn't even have to be a Christmas themed journal. See that? Absolutely gorgeous. All like do punched out shapes and things like that. All right, so grab your magazines, go through and mark or you can just pull out the pages straight away. Have them ready 
and let's see what we can come up with. Another thing I wanted to mention is also look for things like this where you can cover a part of an image. I love this quilt behind it. So this can be covered with, I don't know, see that, you know. And then also we have this one here, same thing. I love the background over here. This writing, not so much. So I can still make this image work. This is where the fun begins because now that we've discussed what to look for in magazines, you will see the application of those things in action. What I have here is my journal. It's a naked journal and it's basically a junk journal style, which means there's lots of different types of pages. There is one little thing in there, one little piece of fabric that I've already put in there before doing this video. Even though I said no fancy stuff, this is the only thing I have in there, okay? Everything else is just naked pages. And then here I have all of the projects that are made with images from magazines only. And now I'm going to embellish this journal with all these goodies and you'll get so many ideas on the types of elements that you can make and all the fun things you can do. Let's just begin, let's stop talking. On page one, I am going to create a pocket right over here with an old calendar page. Does this count as a magazine image? I suppose it can. So what I might do as I go along, I'll see if I can find footage of the original image that I'm using so you can see how I recreated it. So this is a journaling spot and the reason why I created this pocket is because this page is too short and I want this on the first page. So that's going to go in here. And now, now that I have this, I might as well clip it here on the first page, just creating a whole lot of fun. All right, moving along. I might leave this page as it is because it's so beautiful. On this page, I'm going to tuck this uh, jar, a journaling spot actually, and that's gonna go there. This was a napkin transfer technique, and on this page, I might use this image. And I'm making it into a tuck spot. I'm gonna tuck it like this. Folded doily goes over the top, and then a paper clip, just like that. And then I might tuck another little image that I've cut out just under there. Lots of fun on one page. And then on this page, I think I'm going to do this tag because the colors uh, align really well. And when I was cutting out the images and backing them with paper to make them into tags and journaling spots and things like that, I was sticking with kind of a bluish color. So one way of making your journal look cohesive is by using the same color scheme. And I don't mean in images. I suppose I don't mean in images only. So here is an envelope. This envelope, this page had a clear, fully white background, which was perfect to make this beautiful envelope. And now I'm going to tuck this onto the side. Of course, that would be a good place to put in stickers and photos and whatever you're planning to use in your journaling sessions. Here's a pocket that was there before I made this video, but let's see. Here's another little tag that I made, backed it with some tea dyed paper, and that's gonna go in here. And by the way, not every page has to be embellished in a journal, so I might skip some pages or not. We'll, we'll see. Let's see, can this fit? I'm going to do a paper ruffle on this page. So this is just a leftover piece of this image. We'll come back to this. It was on the side here, you can see, and I had to trim this down. I'll tell you what this is in a moment. But I had a scrap of that image and I simply folded it down, sewn through it. Everything that you see with the sewing, please know that I simply like the look of sewing, but you can use glue for anything like this. Like you don't have to sew in your journals. I was going to glue this down onto the side of the page, but I decided to make a belly band. Actually, I'm gonna do that on this page because you can't write on that page and belly bands and pockets and things like that are good for pages where you don't have space for writing. So we're not, you know, we're not covering the writing, we're creating extra writing space. And then perhaps I can tuck this. This is also a magazine image. I mean, they're all magazine images. I don't have to keep repeating that, but I can tuck that under there. And basically all I did is made that into a journaling spot. Like I said, we are creating a writing space on pages where there's no space to write. 
Okay, over here I have a little pocket, so perfect place for another journaling spot. Okay, I know I've done a lot of journaling spots so far. Is this even going to fit? Just. But it goes really well with this page, which is why it's there. Okay, I might skip a few pages. Maybe I might add one of these ladies on this page. So you will notice that some of the images I didn't do anything with. I simply fussy cut them out and I have them ready to go. I'm kind of covering a whole lot of writing space, but I think pages like this are fun because you can still write, not over the lady, but you can still use the page for writing. You can just use writing here. I would actually use this space as well. That looks really nice. Okay. This is a pretty cool spot for an over the page tuck. So this is a CD case that I tea dyed and then I lined it inside with this magazine image and it's like a pocket or like an envelope and it can be filled with, you know, you can make a fun, you can make a shaker or you can fill it up with things you want to use throughout the journal, make it really fun if you're selling them if for the recipient to receive all sorts of goodies in there. So that can be there. And then this side can also be used as a tuck spot for another journaling spot. All right, now I'm going to skip some pages because my journal is going to be very, very full. So I'm going to leave these pages as they are. This is from a poem book. You know what? I'm actually going to tuck this into this onto this page. And the good thing about clipping things in is that they can be taken out and moved around. All right, this is a painting off of a wall from that home decor magazine. All right, let's move along. Actually, how can I skip this wonderful page? This is from my DIY texture paste, raised texture paste. I'll link that video if you want to have a look. On this page, I'm going to use this laminated bookmark. And I'm going to clip that on here. Obviously, that can be moved around the journal, but it's just in there for now. Because I will be selling this journal, the recipient can move stuff around any way they want. All right, here's an image of an owl. And I made a belly band, and that's gonna go on here. So as you can see, all I did is simply cut out the owl, fussy cut it out, and glued it down onto a piece of paper, really, and we're making a vertical belly band. And now that can be used as a tuck spot for whatever. All right, next page. What have we got here? I created a hidden paper clip. So basically, I have a video on this. Basically, there's a paper clip in between the layers here. So the paper clip can't be seen. Hence why it's called a hidden paper clip. I'm going to clip it on top of this page. And then over here, a few different little elements. We have an image, we have a curtain. You would never be able to tell that's a curtain. And then I made it into like a little booklet. So again, the same thing that I did with the girl's face, it was just empty space on a page that I ripped up and covered this scrapbook paper with. And there we have it. So now when I tuck this in, under here, I'm going to kind of leave it out a little bit and that creates a tab. So you can use this a raffle kind of effect to create little tabs all around, all over the journal. Over here, here's a little paper bag that I used. And this is a booklet that I created. Just a little extra little booklet. And obviously, that's the image there. So again, I use sewing because I like the, the look of sewing, but you don't have to, you know, if you don't have a sewing machine. Maybe I can embellish the bag a little bit. Here is another image. I wanted to use this as a pocket, but I don't know. Since this is a video on using only magazine images, I'm only using magazine images to embellish this journal, but imagine the fun that you can have or all the extra bits, you know, that you can add. All the things I said that we're not going to do in this video, you know, stamps and stickers and stenciling and bling and all that fun stuff. Okay, over here what I'm going to do is you can see this page has a little bit of, I don't know what happened there. It was when I was inking the edge. So here are two magazine images. One is not back to onto anything and this one I made into a journaling spot writing tag. So I'm going to glue this here to take away from that little bit of ink. 
and I'm making this into a tuck spot for this tag. That looks really nice. Moving along, I'm going to leave this middle page as it is because I quite like the wiggly sewing and it's just going to stay the way it is. All right, over here. Oh, look, we have it again. I must have placed it against something. I haven't used this image. I'm wondering if I can do a paper ruffle with this. Rip this up. And by the way, here's a little tip. You know when you rip, you have one edge that's perfect like this without the white bit. And then you have the other one with the white bit. I usually like the white bit because then I can ink that. And I just like the way it looks. And the way that you achieve that, if you rip towards you like this, you get the white, right? So, see here? If you rip towards you, you get the white. So you get rid of the stuff and then here, rip towards you, yeah? If you want the white. If you don't want the white, then you go, like the bit you want to keep uh, throw away, you want to rip towards you, yeah? But I want to keep this. So I'm throwing away this part. Am I, am I like making this more complicated than it has to be? Anyway, I'm sure you can work out what I'm trying to say. Should I just glue that on? Just like that. Or should I make a paper ruffle? Well, don't answer that question because clearly I've made a paper ruffle, didn't I? And I'm just gonna glue it down. It can be a tuck spot. I'm gonna make it into a tuck spot. So I'm just going to glue down this edge. Should I do something with the rest of this? So what I did is cut it down and then I realized that the back is completely white because that's on the back and there was a white bit. And I actually really like this too. So I'm gonna cut it out. So I'm going to leave this as it is. It can be a journaling spot, but now what I want to do is make a tab, but a really unnecessarily long one. Because why? Because I can. Because why? Because why not? There we go. Maybe I can use a little painting to embellish that or not. I really like this image. That can be something, but not here. Because on this page, we have this little thing. So the bottle, the name of the wine, it's covered, and the messages in the bottle was on that same page. So I made this large journaling tag. You can journal on both sides. And I'm going to pop that into this little envelope. And now that that's hidden, maybe I can do, maybe I can do that. I don't know if this makes any sense to be on this page, but it doesn't have to always make sense, does it? Just simply put it there because I like it. And then, woohoo, there's an idea for a, man journal by the way would that be something that you're interested in a me making a journal for a man all right here's another little extra journaling space and i'm going to simply clip that onto the page you know what i'm all about journaling and when i make journals i embellish them i do not fully but i make sure there's plenty of space for writing so we have pretty much created a whole extra journal by adding all of these writing areas. That's what I think anyway. Here's a little lion. That's what I did. I made a hat and I wrote here, go forth and be fierce. Because fierce, I don't know, reminds me of a lion. I'm gonna tuck him in there. And then what I did here is I laminated. When I was laminating my bookmark and stuff, I had a little bit of space left. You know, I like to use all of that laminating pouches up. And so I laminated this, maybe I can add a little something up the top here to make it into a tag. But for now, it's going to go here be behind the lion because that's where the wild things are. Oh yeah. Okay, I am simply going to glue this piece down here just for a little bit of embellishment on that page. Oh, I just realized I did that upside down. Upside down, it's going to stay. Okay, moving along over here, I'm going to glue this down printables who needs printables when you can get images like this glorious so what i'll do when i'm finished embellishing oh here we have a little envelope so the envelope was lined with packaging paper it's wrinkled and and stuff which i think looks pretty nice and i'm gonna pop it onto this page pocket full of dreams that can be filled with all sorts of stuff and there it is. And then also that can be a tuck spot and you can tuck stuff in there. Uh, this journal is a huge now, by the way, so I can't really be 
adding any more extra stuff. All right, here's another quilting little design. I'm gonna make that into a belly band. All right, glue applied, that goes down. Lots of belly bands. And then this butterfly tag, you know, when you see the image of it in a magazine, doesn't look that great, but when, once it's actually processed, let's call it processing, and made into a, something functional, it looks beautiful. Oversized tag from this image. Again, I back everything onto some type of cardstock or paper. A lot of the images I used for this journal, I backed with these old calendar pages that I tea dyed and then added party streamers. I don't know if you've seen a video where I was talking about party streamers and how you can extract water from them because they bleed quite heavily when you submerge them in the water and then you can add color to your tea dyed pages. If I remember what video that's in, I'm going to link it right there. How does that sound? All right, and I think that the blues, you know, I mentioned the blues, the grays and stuff before, that's what I'm talking about. All right, here's this image. So this image here evokes kind of a homely, warm feel. And because I used quite a lot of images with blue and I don't know, kind of wintry, cold, cold, no. I'm not sure. I just thought this image goes really well. So here it is. And again, it's a journaling spot. You can see I sewn straight through that frame because I thought that's a little bit of a fun characteristic. Now over here, you will recognize the same page and I cut it into two pieces. This is a journaling spot. This is a tag, which is also a journaling spot. I mean, all these terms, you know, we're just creating fun stuff and extra writing space. And that's gonna live in this pocket. And then, oh, I love this little owl. He looks so angry. He's like, get on with it, woman. Stop your nonsense talking and just get to business. I love him. He's so full of angry personality, but in a cute kind of way. Okay, again, journaling spot. And now I'm going to clip it onto this page which I was going to use to glue down a pocket. I decided to just clip him in here so he can stay angry in his little page. And then, okay, oh, sorry about that. The fabric was glued on before. I knew I was gonna make this video. Okay, here is this little thing. It's just a pocket. I just backed it onto some book page to make it a little bit sturdier because those Donna Hay pages are very flimsy. And now I'm going to glue the three sides down. Very easy. Lovely. Make that into a pocket. This journal is getting chunky. Very chunky. So what I'll do when I'm finished, which I am nearly finished, I'm gonna do a flip through with no talking for a change. Here's this little tag. And basically the image had white underneath, so I just folded it up and I didn't have to add anything to sewn around. That's gonna go in there, lovely. And then over here is like a, a, a page that flips out, a tuck spot, and then another one of these postcard kind of things, which are back down to tea dyed paper. Might keep that closed so that it stays in place. And over here, what do we have? Just an image and I glued it down onto packaging. And I loved, I just love using this packet. You know, packaging, these types of things when you get it, boxes of stuff that you've ordered and they shove these papers in. I flatten them out and I just love the I love the sound, I love everything about this paper. And one of the previous envelopes I made, that's the paper that I use. And I just love the wrinkles at the back. Sometimes I don't kind of like that look, but with this type of thing, you know, the sound and the crinkle, I think I, I'd like it. So you, my little friend, are getting clipped in there. I'm leaving this page as it is. Beautiful paper. And okay, what do we have at the back? Let's do this one first. I was going to pop this somewhere in the journal. I was going to perhaps make another little mini journal to have here at the back, but I ended up just leaving it as it is. And that image in one of the magazines, I covered the middle of the doily and basically it looked like it just made a little thing. Look at all of the extra journaling space we have created in this one journal. It's like having two journals. 
All right, now this here is a writing board. Couldn't resist this image from Australian Geographic. Cut it down and I glued it onto scrapbook paper so we can have the back, you know, nice. And it's a writing board, laminated. So basically what that means is when you're working in your overly embellished and thick journal, and, and especially if you have 3D embellishments and you have paper clips, let's say you're writing on this page and this paper clip is in the way, that's what the writing board is for. You can use it to back your pages and that way you can write on them without interference. So that lives here at the back of the journal. Let's have a look. The journal is quite thick and full of stuff, all magazine images, well, it's a little bit of cheating, and I love it, absolutely love it. So what I'll do now is I flip through with no talking.
let me tell you, this non-talking business w wasn't very easy after the last two hours of constant talking. Here are the images I didn't get a chance to use. Some of the things that can be useful in the future. Look at these beautiful colors. This type of thing, perfect for envelopes. Writing, the diversity is beautiful. Something like this, best kept secret on a secret journaling spot. And on, and on, and on we go into oblivion with all the amazing magazine images that we can I'm looking for a, like a really thunderous word, but I can't come up with one. So let's just say images that we can process. Not a very thunderous word. This journal will be in my Etsy shop in case if anybody wants to purchase it, the link is down below. If you don't see it, it means it's gone. Please let me know what you think of this video. Are you inspired? Are you gonna go? I mean, I know that you know the, these things already. Like I know you've already cut out images and use them in your journal. But I hope that at least now you've gotten some more ideas. Maybe you haven't made an envelope before. I don't know. Maybe you haven't embellished a whole journal with only magazine images. Let me tell you, I personally have never done it up until now with a little bit of cheating with these fabrics. It just, it just is the way it is. I was working, making the journal before I decided what to do for this video. The whole idea of this process is going back to basics where we are using I really hesitate to use the word junk because I don't see this as junk but the thing is you don't need all the bells and whistles to make a beautiful thing or to embellish it I just saw something here in my pile look at this I hope that I have given you lots of ideas 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 yes I did just do that all right Please let me know what you think. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. I hope you are inspired. That's my main purpose. I hope you feel the need to just go into your craft room and make something. That is what I want for you. And because clearly I'm rambling, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.